Hi all, Hal here with more Imperion Galactic Survival. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's go to the external camera here, so it's a little quieter. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work on the ship, and like I said, next time we came back, I was going to, you know, take it out on its basically inaugural flight. As you can see, I've, bas I've been uh, starting to hide some of the thrusters and things. You can still see them poking the uh, thrust poking out. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the most part, it's mostly done at this point. I've got another um, interesting. I have another uh, rocket launcher being built, and um, so what I'm going to do is go back over to where we lost the SVU on Friday's live stream and uh, finish taking care of some of that base because we didn't actually have a core with us so we couldn't take it over. Uh, but I want to make sure that there are no more drones over here spawning. And we're going to fly around some more of the planet and take a look and see what else is out here because there's a, still a couple of pieces of the ship that we're missing as well as uh, some of the uh, other points of interest, but I do I am very interested in capturing this place uh, I think we have taken out all of the Sentry guns at this point, all right? Let's make sure before we poke over the, the corner here uh, Yes, okay, so all of the sentry guns are are gone. That's good uh, What I may do There we go. Alright, so what I'm thinking I might do, actually, is... Let's uh, jump back on here. Yeah. Oops. Let's take out... Let's go ahead and take this one out. Because what I'm thinking I might do is... Uh, let's see where this goes. Because if this works the way I want it to, we can actually put an elevator in here. And then we'll build a uh, landing pad up on the roof of the base. Oopsie. Yeah, so this goes out here. That actually works really well. Of course, I could just use this as the, uh, the landing area. Hmm. Alright, let's get back up on the... Back up on the roof, and we will take a look and see. Because I, I think I would rather. No, I guess with the ship, it actually does make sense to have it parked in here. So yeah, let's do that. We'll go ahead and move the ship back. We'll move the ship in rather, and we'll uh, we'll put the rest of that back together. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. As you can see, the ship is really maneuverable, especially on those, those, uh, the left and right slides. Alright, so... Um, I have increased the weight significantly by putting in so much block. Um, why am I having problems steering here? Come on. Thank you. System's a little, uh, laggy right now, I guess. Alright, so... Now we're going to turn this thing around so that when we're ready to leave, we just take off. Alright, so... Go ahead and land this thing. We'll kill the power, and yeah, it looks like we're we're good to go here at this point. Alright, so now let's go, let's go capture us a base. Not that it hasn't already been captured, come on. Um, let's see, we took out, it was over here, right? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna put our core back. Same place that we took their core from. Alright. We don't have that done. Let's throw some power in this beast. And turn the base on, hopefully, right? Why are we not turning the base on? We have a core. All right. Let's... All right. That means that we have another core in here. We can't. We haven't been able to take it over. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, there's power there. So why did it... Did it just eat all of my power? Really? Odd. Alright, well, <laughs> the base is now up and running. Let's go ahead and start repairing some of this stuff as well. And Why? My uh, mouse... I have a wireless mouse and I'm wondering if the battery is starting to die on it. Um, so yeah, we're just going to fix this place up a little bit really quick. So uh, yeah, the main base that I've been running, uh, that I've been working with, um, is really, really annoying now. <laughs> so I put the turrets in to, to defend against the drone attacks, and what I have found is that the uh, the drone attacks actually, because of the way that they work, um, it looks like I've made it all the way through the the pre-programmed stuff. It's only like four or five waves. Um, I don't know if that was something that they had changed or or what, but I, now it's only, you know, you only get a couple of waves of the drones. Um, and then no more drones. So I turned off the uh, the turrets that I had on the base, and the base itself is still fine. It's just what happened was is I had a couple of the uh, the plant monsters get really close to the base, and my base... Uh, defenses decided it wanted to shoot a hole through the farm in order to kill the, the creatures instead of just you know shooting the creatures directly um, so that's yeah a little annoying so I'm hoping that this place is actually far enough away that we don't get a lot of the um, the random spawns of specifically the plant monsters but I'm looking at it going because um, I'm not seeing the plant monsters, but I am seeing the other things like the dinosaurs and the uh, um, the slimes. And this is actually a really cool idea. I like this, but I don't think I like it as what it. Oh, I guess yeah, because I guess it does let you come in and patrol around the base. So that's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep it. So I do think I'm going to go ahead and keep this base um, as well. So now we have the second place to... Oh, see, speak of the devils, right? Alright, so... Now the catch is, is that we do have silicon here, and we do have the one magnesium... Or no, that's uh, cobalt. So we did find the cobalt over here. So we, we have very limited resource in this area, except for like the silicon. And I would think that when you were from a development side, if I was going to place a factory, I would actually want it near a lot of the resources, but maybe um, the mining, like a mining outpost or something would have actually had more resource associated with it. I don't know, but, oh, well, that sucks. Okay. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to, we're basically just trying to figure out what we want to do with the base now. Um, I'm thinking that I may just go ahead and close that piece off. We'll come back over here. Come on, why is... Yeah, I think my mouse is dying. <laughs> it's been a hell of a week, huh? Alright, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is go ahead, rebuild this place a little bit. Uh, put some defenses in. I am not going to do the same thing that I did with the other base where we have the towers in place. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to build an HV, uh, one of the hovercraft, and we're going to park it on top of the ship, on top of the base. Um, which is why I'm trying to figure out if I want to put a elevator in on this or not. Because if I put an elevator in, what I can do is I, w I can connect this tower to this tower and um, put the, the HV on top of it. So if we do get attacked by any of the drones, we'll have the HV sitting here protecting it. Um, but I'm not sure if the auto turrets will attack with, no, with the, uh, the ship turned off. I don't think that they will. I mean, it would just make sense that they didn't. Um, but you never know because not everything in this game makes sense. That's for sure. But I do like the base. I think this is actually a really well designed and uh, built base. So whoever built this one, congrats to you. Awesome job. All right, so we had a lot of dinosaurs. At least we have a good food supply in this area. Um, but I do think 
Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so back at the uh, back at my main base, I've actually got a bunch of parts uh, cooking off right now for the for the uh, HV to be built. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing is let's move these over here. I'm gonna have five minigun turrets. I'm gonna put one. Basically, I'm gonna have uh, two on each side, or actually maybe one on each side. So it'll be one on each edge, and one in the middle on the on the top. That way, when I park it, it'll be able to fire in all directions to uh, help defend itself, and it'll have a couple of areas of overlapping fire. And what that'll allow us to do is to basically be able to have a uh, convergence fire, which is very, very important when you have the, the drones and things in this game. All right, so come on. Yeah, see, there's something going on. All right. So, um, yeah, with that, let's uh, go ahead and jump back in the ship, and what we're going to do is, since we now have this base captured, I'm not going to leave anything perishable over here because I don't want to run the risk of it uh, basically expiring. Um, let us go, let's go explore this area since we have nothing over here right now. Alright, let me check this. It is starting to... You irk me. Uh, everything's clear there, so all right. Well, maybe it's just the bat. Like I said, maybe it is the battery just dying. All right. So let's go ahead, power this thing on, and let's go straight out. So yeah, um, happy Wednesday, to everybody. Thank you all for the the support on all of the videos. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, but you know, hitting those likes, leaving the comments, the new subscribers, all of it. it it's thank you, um, really. Uh, we are on track. If we haven't done so already, uh, we are on track to be breaking the 200 subscribers this week, which is a huge achievement for me. Um, I just honestly never thought I would get that point. <laughs> so, uh, whoa, a lot of Promethean over here. Nice. So maybe the factory is a good place. Um, yeah, like I said, I just honestly, when I started the channel, I never really expected to be able to get over you know, 100 or 200 subscribers, and the channel continues to grow, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, and, you know, let me know what you what you like, what you don't like, and, you know, I would definitely consider doing some changes, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird experience for me, but thank you all, it's appreciated, um, I, yeah, I just don't know what else to say on that one, so <laughs> I'll leave it be. Wow, there's a lot of resources over here, so that's a good thing. But we're still looking for the the last third of the Titan, and we need the other two thirds of the Talus. We haven't found the Talus. Uh, we've only found one section of the Talus, and I'm really wanting to find the rest of it because I think it it's a pretty awesome build, and I'd like to see the rest of the ship. More for my curiosity than anything else, I think, but... It looks like there's something over there. Alright, so let's go find out. Oh, that might be the uh, the base that I slipped past the last time we were around here. It's definitely uh, a build of some kind. Uh, before we get too close to it... I'm not seeing anything here, so I haven't discovered it yet. So let's go check it out. Yeah, so it is a defense tower. So what we're going to do is see if we can strip some of the defenses off of it. There's the defense tower. <laughs> All right, so that also means that there's going to be drones in the area, right? Or did we already kill the drones? No, doesn't look like so. All right, so we're gonna go take a swing through here, see if we've got any drones around. You see drones? I don't see drones. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's go. Uh, oh, there's the front of the Titan, which means there are going to be drones over here. 
Actually, did I? Yeah, I already discovered this, so this is actually clear. Or should be clear unless drones respawn again. Alright, so... Nope, no respawn, so I know that that's em pretty much empty. So let's go hit the defense tower, and uh, we'll go do a little bit of looting. But yeah, like I was saying, with the, uh, the with the HV, what I'm thinking is is that I may actually come back through and do any of the rest of the tower assaults with the HV, and just basically clear the drones out as I go. And I'm hoping to be able to use the uh, the auto turrets to do a lot of that for me. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's kill that thing and come on. Hey you. <laughs> All right. There's one. There's what four of these things in there, right? I think there's four in here. Alright, so what we're going to do is let's take the door off. Makes it easier. And yep. One down and one to go. You know what? Come here. Get rid of you. Alright, so I do wonder if the developers uh, know that you know, the players are basically just doing what they can to bypass all of this stuff. Um, because I can't imagine that that's the way they want us to fight these things, but at the same point, you know, they, uh, these items just, or these bases just, in some cases are ridiculously overdone. Uh, so yeah, let's take this thing apart. I do like the fact that they've added in or added back so many of the points of interest because I know that one of the concerns that they had was that people were getting resources just way too easy by um, stripping these things. And since they put them back in, I mean, it's not really solving that problem at all. And I think what it was is they just realized it didn't matter because if you do it, if you put them in, they're going to strip them. If you don't, they'll figure out something else. So it was, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. All right, uh, one that I am going to go ahead and call the episode today. I, I know it's not a whole lot going on. Um, so thank you for stopping in. I do appreciate you spending some time with me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button on, uh, on your way out. If you haven't done so already, I do ask that you subscribe because the likes and subscriptions tell me that you're liking the content and any of the content you're really liking, you're going to get more of. So with that said, as always, folks, take care and, uh, yeah, be safe out there. Big drones too.